Let's face it, as much as we all might want to drink around the holidays thanks to family or stress from trying to find gifts at the last second, not all of us can or not all of us will. And that means that today, on day 15 to 25 drinks of Christmas, we're making a mocktail for those of us among us who are DBing or simply elect to stay sober this Christmas. More power to ya, I couldn't do it. Hey there, hi there, ho there, my name is Michael and welcome back to Mike's Hard Reviews where we're doing 25 drinks of Christmas. Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at a cocktail called the Poinsettia and how to make a non-alcoholic version for all those at home who do not drink or cannot drink this holiday season. So a Poinsettia, uh, if I'm not mistaken, is whiskey, cranberry juice, orange juice, some simple syrup, maybe lemon juice, a few other things. Essentially, it's just a very gussied up single serving punch. And I only discovered it actually by trying to find out if I can make poinsettia petals into a syrup. You can't, but I found out there's a cocktail called a poinsettia. Or to try to emulate that same <laughs> profile of flavors today using everything you see in front of you. you. Need some cranberry juice, orange marmalade, just a little bit of simple syrup. In fact, it's actually optional as well. And then some ginger ale. Uh, before we do anything with mixing though, we do need to prepare a glass. Uh, in this case, we need some champagne flutes. And if you can, try to get ones that are taller than this. This is the only champagne flutes I could find at the store that were not a color or like fogged or anything like that. So if you can, find one that's maybe like an inch or so taller, but champagne flute nonetheless will do just fine. We're gonna take that, we're going to rim that in some corn syrup and then dip that into some green and red sugar. That ends up looking a little bit like that. So we'll take that, put that onto our plate to dry and then set it aside while we mix our cocktail, or in this case, mocktail. Now this mocktail does still require shaking, which is pretty uncommon for a lot of mocktails, but there's a reason for it. And that reason in particular is this right here. This orange marmalade is how we're going to get our uh, orange and some of our sweetness component added into the cocktail. The reason I'm doing this instead of say orange juice is because I feel like it, it gives it a little bit more of a sharper, more like orange peel note to it without any of that bitterness. Now we're gonna take that orange marmalade and we're gonna do about a spoonful into the bottom of our shaker here. Now you can go about as much as you want, about as little as you do. There's kind of no good way to quantify this. I'm gonna go to what would be about maybe a quarter of a cup's worth, maybe at most. Next up, we need three ounces of uh, cranberry juice. This is my cranberry pomegranate 50-50. This stuff will work just fine. In fact, I think it'll work better if you can manage it at home. But if you can't, cranberry juice will do just fine. Now, because we're making this a mocktail, and mocktails are usually something that we do for kids, those of us who own bars, um, you might need a little bit of simple syrup. I think maybe it's advisable. Just, just the slightest bit though, if any at all. I mean, we're gonna take this and just free pour, stop, half a bar spoon's worth, honestly, a very small amount. I'm actually out of many of my large ice cubes at this moment, so we're gonna have to go ahead and make this a little bit more impromptu, but we're gonna do one large cube, and like many people at home who probably don't, you know, invest time in making cubes of ice, you probably have something like this. Just take those and throw three of those in there so that there's a couple extra contact points and plenty of ice to chill this as we dilute it. We're gonna cap this up and give it a good 10, 15 sh uh, second shake to chill it, dilute it, and get that orange marmalade nice and dissolved into the juice. Now that we've gotten that all shaken up, we're gonna bring our glass back out with a nice thick sugar rim. We're gonna go ahead and uncap this and pour this in as is. Now, before you do that, it's advisable that because we're gonna be using a carbonated component to sort of finish this off, to pour just a small amount of that into the glass beforehand. What that's also gonna do is help it release some of its carbonation so it doesn't overflow on us when we pour the cocktail in. Here we go. Now we'll just finish that off, topping it up with our ginger ale. And voila. Ladies and gentlemen, you have a non-alcoholic poinsettia. Let's go ahead and give this a taste. It's got a beautiful ombre from the thickness of the carbonation and the ginger ale. Oh, looks great. Oh yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's very sweet. It's definitely like mocktail for sure, but that sort of sweet ginger ale and, 
and prominent orange cranberry flavor. It's just, it's really Christmassy. And it really gets the, gets the note across like, hey, you're drinking the thing. It tastes like delicious juice. It is super easy and simple and a crowd pleaser for just about anybody. And hell, if you wanted to make it alcoholic, you could throw a shot of vodka into it when you shake it. Maybe just cup out the cranberry juice by an ounce, or you can cut it with sparkling wine. But honestly, after this many days of making alcoholic cocktails, I'm a little happy to have something with no proof in it. Him. This is light. Because we shook it, it's kind of light. And it's like carrying that carbonation really well. And you're getting that ginger note, which I'm still sick by the way. So that is really helping me right now. <laughs> I really do like this. And it's got just this really nice light red color and this nice thick foam at the top. Looks great. Well, thank you ladies and gentlemen for watching this rather simple episode of Mike's Hard Reviews for day 15, 15 of 25 Drinks of Christmas. That was a non-alcoholic poinsettia. I hope you enjoyed it. Click like and subscribe to catch the next one and I will see you guys around. Have a great day.